Okay, hi everybody. It is me, Bonkai922. Uh, I found out the story behind, because I didn't know that there was a story behind um, the chapters. Like, I had no idea, because Wednesday he was doing something. And uh, I found out what the story was, and I really don't mind it. To be honest with you, I think it's great because I don't have to do it until later in the week. And with my certain what's going on now, it's probably a good idea. It's a good idea. Okay, uh, Hunter Hunter. Episode of you. This is pretty late. This is like eh, two days late. 2011, episode 144. Um, this was pretty good. Um, this is pretty much... What went down in this episode was essentially the final part of this election arc. Well, election. To decide a 13th chairman of the Hunter Association. And we had a bunch of them. We had Cheadle, um, Pariston, who... <laughs> and Lirio. <laughs> and I forgot the other guy's name, the cow guy. So we had these four. They're like the final four. And in the episode, Jean, Jean gets talk talks to Cheadle about the election and about Pariston, essentially. And, you know, this was a slow one from, from last week, but still had interesting tidbits because, obviously, the whole point is, see... And Pariston, you know, this guy is shady as all fuck. He doesn't want to win. He doesn't want to lose. He just wants to elongate the election as far as he can. That's, that's fucking insane. Now, also in this episode, we do get to see Killua. Uh, we actually see, like... Biscuit and all the other hunters like there with them to protect them to go into the hospital and you know he meets up with with um, Canary and the other one and they go into go Gold's hospital room and this is basically the wait because she's sleeping um, Alka and he's basically waiting to for her to wake up and for him to make his wish and. Hopefully, Gone is, is brought back. Now, what I found interesting also about this episode was, like, they obviously talked to different candidates, and <clears throat> everyone essentially was, was, was saying their reasons for this other person to win. Like, Cheadle was saying that Lirio should win. Um, the guy with the cow... His name eludes me. Mac Macus said Cheadle should win. And of course, Pariston says Maris should win. Oh, I'm sorry if I just butchered that name. And then we had the thing with Lirio. Lirio. He basically said all really about Gone. You know, all about Gone. And his personal life. It was it was very personal with 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 Lirio. And uh got really personal with it. And I, I thought it was interesting to see that. And you can see like they're trying to beat Parison. That's the whole MO in this episode. They're trying to get not get him to be the Chancellor. Because if he's the Chancellor, it's nothing but bad news. And, like, when Cheeto was talking to Jean, Jean, in the hallway, Jean mentioned what was going on with um, the cocoons in, the, in, you know, those cocoons on the palace that were part of the uh, Chimera Ants. And saying that 
that maybe like Paristin had a and, and he's gonna do some shit and I'm like whoa it must be some serious shit going down here if you talk if he's talking about that but he mentions this and he's obviously he's given these tidbits to Cheadle of, of, to find a way to defeat Pariston. Because Jing doesn't want any part of it, apparently. And <clears throat> I thought this was done very nicely. And and how how like it's it's like it's not really a four you could say it's a four way battle to decide who the Chancellor's gonna be. But the thing is you have Lyrios is not he's just he doesn't he doesn't see the reason to win for B Chancellor, but he's more thinking about gold in this regard. And I guess you could say that with Pariston, everyone's like, you know, he can't win. Cause he he's done underground shit. He's got underground connections in this episode, it was shown. And He's not going to... It's going to be... He's going he's gonna to fuck everything up. Especially when you consider... Because Jing mentioned this... That the Hunter exam is around the corner. So they might change the... Commandments of the Hunter Association... Of the Hunters. So... Nothing to consider. Overall... I thought this was a good episode. Four out of five. Now... I wonder... How next week's going to go. Because like next week I think we're going to get basically the conclusion to the election. And go. So next week's going to be like a clincher. Uh, and I, next week's going to be like 145. So I think there's like about three more episodes. Holy shit, man. But... I, I expect a huge, huge, huge finale when this is all concluded. Yeah, this is going to be massive. It's going to be huge. Huge. Just massive huge. But overall rating, 4 out of 5. Um, I, I can only imagine how this is going to conclude. How this is going to conclude. How we're going to get the whole everything dealt with. But should be interesting. It should be an interesting uh, way to end it. Um, after this video, I'm going to do another video. It's going to be an update video on what I did yesterday and what it concludes with down the road. Don't look forward to that. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. I mean, Lirio, I, I have to say though, it, it was, it was an emotional moment for him, but it felt like he doesn't want to be there. You know, he just feels so out of place and shit. I, I truthfully... I really do. I really do. I hope so. Because it, it would be interesting for me to see, like, somebody who's not a Zodiac um, win the election arc. Win the election. And actually become chairman. It would be interesting. It really would. It really would. So I look forward to it. I'm Bonkai922. I'll see you guys later. Lirio man, what can you say about him? See you guys later.